Hey guys, so today I have a brand new and exciting video for you and this is going to be my MacBook Air M1 2021 or 2020, whatever it is, uh, unboxing. So yes, I have it right here. It is un it's untouched. Yes, untouched. There's the seal. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video guys. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, drop me a comment down below and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and we better get into this video. Right, so I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I'm a tech expert, I'm definitely not. So, I'm gonna tell you everything that you can find out if you have the internet, pretty much. This is just an unboxing. I'm not gonna tell you anything overly specific and technical, so if you want a video like that, then this is not the one for you to watch. <laughs> I also have a Bex Blue, because why not? <laughs> it's a Friday and I was working before this and I didn't wanna drink beer and work, so why not have an alcohol-free one? Right, so for a little backstory, I currently have the early 2015 MacBook Air. I bought this in 2015. Um, it's lasted me well. It's really, really, sl uh, really, really slow now, though. So I thought it's time for it's time to say goodbye to this thing. I mean, it's still great. It's in. I mean, it's a bit dirty, but it's in good condition. It's just really, really slow. So yeah, time to say goodbye. I thought I'd treat myself to a new one because uh, my student discount runs out in a month as well. So it's the last time that I can get one for, I think it's about a hundred pounds off, which is quite good. So yes, trusty laptop, you are gonna go. If you want to, if you want for me to do a comparison on the early 2015 MacBook, I think this is the Intel uh, dual core i5. It's not the quad core, it's the dual core i5, uh, four gigabytes of memory. Maybe? This one. Anyway, if you want me to do a comparison with this one and Apple's new M1 chip uh, with the new MacBook Air, then let me know and I can do that for you. This, I think, is going to my mum, so it will still be in the house for me to uh, to show you. Right, let's get on to the exciting stuff because this is what you all tuned in to see. So, we have... It's got delivered yesterday, or I ordered it about two weeks ago. So, oh my lord, this is getting... Ah, oh, well, there we go. That's that bit of plastic on. Plastic removed. This has been sat on my desk for two days uh, while I didn't have time to film it. So we're finally getting to open this. Right, so this is the Space Grey MacBook Air 13 inch um, with the M1 chip, it's got a 8 core CPU and a 7 core GPU. Didn't go for the 8 core G CPU, GPU, because one, it was more expensive and I don't think I really need it. I All that I do is browse the web, edit some videos occasionally and write on here. So I don't do a lot. So that's why I thought I'll just go for the cheapest option and this was it. Sorry you can't see this, I'm going to lift up the box. Right, so that is the lid off. And if I show you, that is what you are faced with in the box. I hope you can see this. I haven't got my viewfinder, otherwise I'll look at it. So, that's the way that I can get this out. Right, so here is the MacBook. It's a lot thinner, I think, than my old one. It doesn't feel any heavier, it feels kind of the same. Um, put this to one side for now and then I'll uh, talk through the rest of the box. Right, so then in the rest of the box you get the charging cable. Uh, this is a USB-C charging cable, uh, which I would imagine goes into a plug. I would hope so. Right, and then you've got this little designed by Apple in California booklet. I'm gonna guess this is operating instructions and so on. Oh. There's grey MacBook stickers, but they're usually white. Okay, they're grey this time. Not like, I mean, I said this in my iPhone unboxing. Does anybody actually ever use the stickers? Because I know I don't. There's not many people that I know who does. Ben doesn't either. So if you do use your MacBooks or your Apple stickers, let me know. Because I just don't know anyone who does. Right, so then it just tells you about how to set up the MacBook. This shouldn't be too difficult considering... I have the old one, but as I said, it was the early 2015. So this might come in handy. In fact, I'm gonna put it there. 
Uh, so then in the rest of the box you've got the plug and then the adapter. So from my old MacBook that slides in there like so. I will show you because my mum is getting my old charger and I don't think that my old charger would work with this laptop anyway. Right so you've got these two bits and that just slides in there like so which is actually quite annoying. I've got a extension cable down there which is where my other charger uh, plugs into and it's just sort of oh, that's tough it's just kind of that bit but without obviously that and then this is I've got another bit to plug it into so there's only one charging thing now that's really tight anyway that's all the charging goodies and the box goodies done right so here we have the macbook air m1 this is the wrong way there we go I say it is this is the right way so size comparison this is the 13 and a half 13 and a half sorry 13 by 3 inch macbook air 2015 right as you can tell it is quite a lot smaller than this one um it's also thinner you can see that might be a really terrible demonstration i apologize um yeah it's also a lot thinner um weight's about the same I'd say if anything this one is lighter, uh, maybe that's just because this has a fan and this doesn't, I don't know, I don't know how these things work, I build planes not laptops. Right so let's open this, so as I said I went quite boring and I got the space grey one um I I don't know I just like this colour um I mean I say that actually I didn't go boring with my phone this year I've got the blue iPhone uh last year I went for the space grey one boring <laughs> so yeah I've just got this simple it's just a simple grey uh it's kind of like a bluey grey actually it's like I don't know anyway you're not really bothered about the colour so anyway <laughs> and then you open it as so got this little screen protector thing this looks very very cool what i might do is put this and my other macbook side by side and let you see everything uh, ben has this but in the intel version before this one came out so i pretty much know how to use it i know what the differences are um yeah i'm gonna set these two down i'm gonna set this thing up and i'm gonna show you i'm gonna take you through me setting it up pretty much Right, so I'm just going to apologise if you can't see this because, you know, this is what we're going to be doing. So, English Please, UK. English is the main language. Press the return key. That is definitely the, the language I want. I really hope you can see this. Uh, select your country or region. Do you really mind about setup? Probably not. Always got a blooming scroll to the bottom. Right, Wi-Fi password is in not like you would have wanted to watch me type all of that so first instance we're having a struggle ah here we go right migration assistant which is what we want right it's taking a while that's my old macbook if you can't tell right you can only see half of it anyway ah I had to open something. What a surprise. This is much harder than setting up an iPhone, I must admit. Right, so that should be transferring my documents and my files. That was, I know I said it was difficult, but that was easier than what I thought. Um, I hope you can see all of this. I'll give you a close up of the MacBook once all of this is done. Uh, but I think this is going to take a while. So I'm going to turn you off. You can now see the ridiculousness that is my bedroom. Sorry bought a new exercise bike over there. Anyway, I'm gonna turn you off while this works and then I will uh, come back. Right, so migration is now complete. I'm sorry if you can hear my mother in the shower. <laughs> um, migration is complete, done. I think this is set up over, that literally took about an hour. Oh look, there we go. That should now be the same as this, I hope. Right, no accessibility. Right, I think that thing is done now. 
That should be my password. Right, I don't think you can see all of this, but... So, we're gonna set up Touch ID. I hope you can... Does that make it easier for you to see? I don't know. Who knows at this point? Anyway, we're gonna set up Touch ID. Which means that I get to... Okay, so now that can be used for Touch ID and Apple Pay. So that's great, that can be used to unlock the laptop. Right, so there we have it. That is my new MacBook. I think it just needs to do a software update, so we may as well just update that now. And I can tell you a bit more about the MacBook. Right, so I'm going to talk you quickly through the tech specs of this laptop. I apologise if I look slightly off to here, my phone is right by you, so I apologise. Uh, so the Retina display is a 13.3 inch diagonally LED backlit display with IPS technology. It goes up to 2560 to 1600 re uh, resolution with 227 pixels per inch. Uh, yes, so... They also support a 1680 by 1050, a 1440 by 900, and uh, 1024 by 640 resolutions as well. It has 400 nits of brightness, wide color, uh, P3 and true tone technology. That's the display. The chip is an Apple M1 chip. It has an eight core CPU with four performance cores and four efficiency cores. It has a seven, seven core GPU and a 16 core neural engine. Uh, with the battery and power, it lets you uh, surf the web for 15 hours and you can watch TV for movie playback for up to 18 hours. It has a, a built-in 49.9 watt hour lithium polymer battery and a 30 watt USB-C power adapter. That's for the UK, I'm not sure um, if the US has different specs. Oh, I know our power outages are much higher than US power outages, so I'm not sure. Or anywhere in the world, I'm not sure, but, our, but for the UK it's a 30 watt power adapter. There is two Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt ports on the side of the laptop, one there which you connect the power to and then another one and then you've got a headphone jack on this side. I'll do a close-up of the whole laptop so you can see. This laptop that I have has 8 gigabytes of memory and 256 gigabytes of SSD storage. So it also has Touch ID, which you should have seen me set up, hopefully. Uh, the camera is a 720p FaceTime HD camera. Uh, the Bluetooth is Bluetooth 5 wireless technology. So it weighs just 1.29 kilograms, 2.8 pounds. Um, as I said, it's a lot smaller than the other one. The uh, width of it is 30.41 centimeters. Depth of it is 21.24 centimeters and the height is 1.61 centimeters closed. And that is pretty much the tech specs which Apple has given me. So that's all I can tell you, I'm afraid. I literally do not know anything else. As I said, the tech specs for this and the, what I just told you, you can find out on the internet. So never promise to be a tech expert. Anyway, I'm going to give you a show of the laptop. I've still got Big Sur updating, so you'll have to go around with that. But at least you'll be able to see the layout of the laptop. And that's it. Right, so here we have the MacBook. As you can see, I am updating Big Sur, so I apologize. But um, it is the Space Gray, so it is this one right here. I know that's very not focused. So then you have the keypad. You've got the Touch ID button up here. You've got some speakers down the sides here, standard keyboard, and then display. It's a lot better looking at that rather than my um other one. Oh, for, oh no, that might work. So this is my other one, as you can tell. For a side-by-side -side comparison, the True Tone is a lot better on it, just, and that's just from looking at it side-by-side. -side. That's... The new one's a lot clearer than the old one. The old one's very grainy, as you, you can tell it's old. 
and then yeah the new ones are just a lot sleeker and the display is a lot better apparently the camera is meant to be better but who knows we'll see oh anyway there's me hello oh it's my dog anyway the camera looks a lot better so we'll see but uh, yeah that is pretty much as much as I can tell you and show you uh, if you want a comparison to the old MacBook then let me know and I will do that for you right that's everything guys I hope you enjoyed make sure to get to give this video a big thumbs up drop me a comment down below and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you very soon in my next video bye guys